I should have known during the week that the 49ers were as dead as dead can be. When all Jim Harbaugh kept talking about were the accolades of his defense, the accolades of his offense, how his quarterback was healthy, and how they were extremely excited to play the world champs and seek some sort of revenge, redemption, from getting beat last year, where the 49ers thought they did not lose the game. They handed the game to the Giants, and the Giants got, let's go, quote-unquote, lucky. So now Jim Harbaugh this morning wakes up with so much cum on his face, so much shit, in his fucking mouth that that arrogant, pompous, scumbag fuck for the first time when I saw him do post-game interviews had nothing to say. Was as meek as a sheep. Was as humble as humble could be. Now, I do love the 49ers. They do have an amazing defense. They do have a very prolific offense. But again, yesterday you saw how Tom Coughlin can undress another coach like nobody has ever done. When Coughlin is at the top of his game and his coaching staff is at the top of their game, they are the best team in the NFL. They've won two Super Bowls in the last five years and sure as shit, based on what we're looking at right now, they can win another one. Now, they haven't won a game in their fucking division yet. They lost to Dallas. They lost to Philly. Okay? They beat three horseshit teams. And now they pissed on the 49ers. But this is the signature win that you were looking for out of the New York Giants. And unequivocally, I don't want to hear about Aaron Rodgers. I don't want to hear about Drew Brees. I don't want to hear about Philip Rivers. I don't want to hear about Peyton Manning. I don't want to hear about any other quarterback. The best quarterback in the NFL is Eli Manning. Bar none, second to none. That motherfucker must have grown four inches on his cock. Because he is the most confident individual ever. You can't get him off his game. It doesn't matter how many times you knock him down. The man is Jesus Christ right now. He's playing at the highest level possible. Their defense is so fucking nasty. Their running game, I mean, they made San Francisco's defense look like second rate. And that game could have been a hell of a lot uglier if Eli didn't choke with two possessions inside the 10. They came with field goals. They could have game with touchdowns. I mean, that game was not even as close as the score indicated. Let me tell you something right now. This is going to be an amazing football year because from week one to week two to week three to week four to week five to week six to upcoming week seven, you have no fucking idea what's going on!